Hi there, in this video I'm just going to show you animated symbols, which is a new thing in 2.9. Uh, I've just upgraded to uh, the, the dot two um, patch, so I'm on 2.9.2. Um, and let me go back here. As you can see, I've got some very basic red uh, triangles. Uh, these are pubs in and around the Leicester City area. And um, the, the attributes and the data is not important. We're talking about the symbology here, the visualization. What I'd like to do is make these animated. Well, actually, you, by default, you, you, you can't just make them animated. You have to make sure you got the star loaded into your project. So on the insert tab, go to add. See, it's under the style um, section here. Go to add and say add system style. So these are what are provided you know, with the software. And what you'll come up with is this dialog and under 2D and well, I'm going to show you 3D as well. Make sure that animated is ticked and therefore added to your project. OK, um, and just so you know, there are lots, there are quite a few others. So, you know, do take advantage of uh, a lot, a lot of um, other styles that come with the product, um, which are pretty good. But I'm, I'm just going with um, uh, the default animated um, symbols, 2D and 3D. Press OK. So now they're, they're part of the project. So if I go to that layer and click on symbology, um, it's I've, I've already got a symbol um, here and um, it's a single symbol I want to use. So let's go to the symbol formatter and click in there. And if I now you notice it flick up and load the animated bits rather than just 2D etc in ArcGIS you've now got um, animated some straightforward ones here and also 3D animated these are actually all animated for 3D scenes so let's just choose uh, one of these um, one of these ones how about uh, these are all pubs how about a warning sign so now you see how they're sort of pulsing um, you can see this sort of um, the animation there. It's pretty good, really. These these are formatted in much the same way as symbols, but there's a few things you have to be wary of. And look, it says you know, you know, watch out for using animated symbols because there's some limited functionality, etc. So you do have to watch out for a few things. Um, but if we go to properties, we can see this kind of things we can change. So straight straight off, I think I'm going to make that a lot a lot bigger. So I'm going to double the size. So I'm going to change the point size and press apply. There you go, much bigger now. How about that? Um, and um, and you, you, like I said, there's no um, you, have to, you have to be wary of, of things like Halo and all those sorts of things. It's not really compatible. Um, so keep the changes straightforward in properties. The key things you'll you'll be interested in is one question would be, well, th th these are great, you know, but there's only there's only a few. Um, symbols available and um, uh, you know by, by the way they do sort of work as normal if I click on it I get my um, attributes it is a straightforward symbol they're just animated but <clears throat> one of the um, things you can do is actually bring in your own ones so here if you press on the file you see it says insert picture from either from the style so you can change and, and look in your style options um, and, and these are good, these default system ones, there's just not loads, but they are, they are good. Um, you click on file. And interestingly, on file, you can actually um, you know, bring in um, various types and, um, and load them in and, um, and use those for your animation. There's, um, now this, one, one of the things you can uh, also do is just change the way these um, uh, animate. So you can use your own animated GIFs and stuff like that, but there's a few settings here that we can alter in that, that when it plays the animation. Firstly, you can switch it off. Apply. So now the animation is stopped. So by default, you can switch them off. Um, I'll switch them back on. You can also reverse the animation. That's one thing. Um, you can also you notice how they're randomized. See, they're sort of randomly pulsing. Um, if you want, you can kind of force them to align. So let's say uh, two second offset and apply. So you see now they're all the same. They're all sort of in sync. 
So depending on what you want to do, you, you might want to want to do that. You can also say, well, what's the duration of the animation? If we set it to five seconds, that would effectively slow down the um, um, animation. So watch it now; it'll sort of go very slowly. You see, but let's put let's make it not 0.5 and make it go pretty quick. So now it's quick. You see. Um, you can kind of loop or just oscillate, and they can they can be a repeat delay. You know, the sort of the gap in seconds for the, for the delays. So I think that's um, that's about it on the two D side. Uh, so what what about three D? Well, three D it, it works in much the same way. Um, I've got a scene open here with Leicester pubs, the same data. See, it's Leicester pubs. It's three eight five seven there. I've just sort of dragged that into the scene and put it as a 3D layer. Um, I'm just using the world elevation uh, um, base map as a model. But you can see here, I've got actually chosen a windmill. That's uh, quite cool, really. Let's have a look. Um, you can see the model space this is an animated windmill. So, and I did it in much the same way. So on the symbol, so you go to symbology, it's on symbol. And on the symbol, you I've clicked on 3D model marker and again if i go to file i can load different ones here because this, this is this is a 3d model so you see how you can load the um, 3ds the autocad drawings the and the industry standard sort of fbx and obj there so 3d model can can be brought in which is uh, pretty neat you can change orientation stuff um you can you can do a little tint there as well but um you would um, oh that's me doing that um, and um, I've got these three locked, um, so there's there's a, a related um, change ratio. Um, it's all related. So if I go, if I increase uh, or decrease the height, let's say to thirty, um, it'll reset the other values, so it'll be um, a bit smaller. Uh, and likewise, notice the width and height, um, width, sorry, and depth um, change. As I change, so it keeps it all in relation, um, all synced up. It's a little massive windmills there. It's pretty good. That's crazy. It's like some kind of crazy porcupine. Um, uh, again, animations are the same. The sort of, sort of randomization and all that sort of thing. Um, actually, let's, uh, let's choose a different one just purely for. Um, Entertainment sake, three D animated. How about oh, how about a wavy tree? It's got a pine. That'd be good. So let's apply that. So you can see how you can build up some pretty serious uh, visualization, especially with this sort of animation. Let's choose one more before we call it a day. How about uh, uh, wind turbines? And apply. And there you go, it's wind turbines. So you can see how your layers that you've got, if you've got a layer of wind turbines, layer of trees, layer of what have you, you can really um, breathe some uh, some new life into your visualization. Anyway, that was a quick look at um, animated symbols. I hope you like it. There's a few more, lots of few other settings there and stuff that you can change, but that's to get you get you started, get you cracking. The main thing to remember is you're under insert, you must make sure you've added the system style and made sure that the animated styles there are added to your project. Otherwise, you won't see this animation um, item here at the bottom there. If you don't see that, it means the style's not added. I hope you find that useful. Thanks.